We're living in a time that more and more the world is headed further and further from God. Truth is no longer seen as an absolute, but as relative. We make up our own truth as we go along, and more and more the world is compromising on values and morals that once were sacred. The church, an institution placed in authority by God himself to be a moral compass to secular society. But what do we see today? The church no longer influences the world, but the world now influences the church. The church of God has deviated from the path of truth to accommodate the wicked, somehow thinking this will appease them. It only increases their thirst for destruction. Destruction of godly values has laws, has truth. They try to modernize God, get him with the times, all the while foolishly entertaining demons. So is it over? Is it the destruction of biblical Christianity as we know it? The answer is no. History is repeating itself as God said it would. Contamination will seep into the church, sweeping many away by deception and lust of the flesh. Material gain and the entertaining of the world's false religions, as Israel did with Baal. In Romans 11 verse 2, it says, God has not cast away his people whom he foreknew. Or do you not know what the scripture says of Elijah, how he pleads with God against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed your prophets and torn down your altars, and I alone am left, and they seek my life. But what does the divine response say to him? I have reserved for myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to Baal. Even so then, at this present time, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. Meaning of the word remnant in the dictionary is a part or quantity that is left after the greater part has been used, removed or destroyed. And according to Christian theology, it's a small minority of people who will remain faithful to God and so be saved. If you hold the biblical truth, you will feel alone, shunned by the modern day Christians themselves that think they can share a table with demons and the Lord. But know this, God always has a remnant. Progressive Christianity is a harlot church, lost, off the path of righteousness, walking the path of the wicked. They are worse than the unbeliever as they lead ignorant people astray after strange spirits. But God has a remnant, a people that refuse to bow the knee to Baal, refuse progressive Christianity in a modern version of Christ, knowing this, that Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. Hebrews 13, 8. The things God calls abominations is still an abomination. God does not get with the times. He cannot destroy cities yesterday with fire and brimstone for an abominable sin, then advocate it tomorrow. God's not bipolar. His word is truth and will last forever. It does not change. In Matthew 24 verse 35, it says, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will by no means pass away. In Psalms 119 verse 89, it says, Forever, O Lord. Your word is settled in heaven. In these times, God's remnant may well find themselves without a local church they can call their home. Destructive heresies have crept in, leading even the leaders astray. When compromise comes knocking, don't open even a crack, because once it's in, it contaminates everything. Churches of tears are the heartbreaking result. There is nothing more terrifying for me than self-identifying Christians that believe they are saved that are on their way to hell. The Spirit of God lifts off these churches when good is called evil and evil good. Progressive, inclusive doctrine of demons grieves the heart of God as it parades in his face, declaring themselves as one of his. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of truth. We have no right to redefine it or change it. Truth is truth. In John 16 verse 12, it says, I still have many things to say to you. But you cannot bear them now. However, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak of his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak. And he will tell you of things to come. He will glorify me, for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. The Holy Spirit reveals truth. When you follow that which is a lie, you no longer have the Holy Spirit, but a counterfeit. In 2 Corinthians 11 verse 13, it says, for such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also transform themselves into ministers of righteousness, whose end will be according to their works. I'm seeing more and more 
the harlot church that will sell out to please man, and even then wicked man will not be pleased. Today, truth is called hate. To tell someone you're headed to hell through sin is hate speech. We are now to embrace people's sin, acknowledge it, and even accept it. But how can we? How can God's remnant stand idly by as the world runs to hell? How can we watch as the world burns and do nothing? God's word must be preached no matter the cost, no matter how much they hate us. We must preach the gospel that out of the multitude we may save even one from damnation. Who would have thought the day would come where God's people would no longer be welcome in the church because we stand for truth? All across the world, God has his remnant, people set apart that refuse to compromise. It is your choice. Will you follow the worldly church that has changed ignored, added and subtracted from God's word? Or will you pick a hill and die defending it? The choice is yours. This is Barry Hutton for his Infinite Mercy Ministries preaching the truth of Jesus Christ and exposing the lies of Satan. Amen.